Well, new developments in the infamous Gilgo Beach murders. Tonight, an attorney representing some of the victims coming forward to say he has new evidence that he says links suspect Rex Sherman to two other victims. Jody Goldberg has the latest. Four witnesses coming forward, two of them giving sworn statements. This new information offers a glimpse into suspected serial killer Rex Hewerman's life. This is something that's very important to me. I'm going to continue to grind to make sure anybody that had an interaction with our defendant, Rex Hewerman, is held accountable in this case. There's a pattern of a guy who likes to play kind of sporting games with, with the sex workers, chases them, haunts them, hunts them. That's what we're looking at. John Ray, the attorney for some of the victims in the notorious case, stood beside Suffolk's police commissioner Rodney Harrison, reading accounts from women who decided to speak out after recognizing Hewerman in handcuffs. One account alleges his then wife Asa Ellerup posted their contact information to engage in swinger sex back in 1996, saying she knew what was going on. He was a serial user of sex workers. He would sometimes have them come two at a time to his house, and his wife was home upstairs, and in one instance got very angry at one of the sex workers because the wife believed that the worker had stolen an iron. That same witness recognized Karen Vergata's picture. She was a sex worker and the first known victim. She remembers bringing her to Hewerman's home. Ray also spoke to a taxi driver who claimed she saw Shannon Gilbert with Hewerman in a motel back in 2009. The driver knows her well and notices that she has a drooping eye and it helps her to remember Shannon when she sees her later on. Ray says the witnesses came forward to help advance the case. He says his phone lines are open for anyone who wants to talk and doesn't want to go to police. But the district attorney's office says it'll be investigated through the grand jury and private attorneys aren't part of the task force. Now, Hewerman is due back in court on November 15th, we reached out to his attorney who has no comment. Jody Goldberg, Fox 5 News.